Oh, nothing much. I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, fighting this urge to rip your throat out. Couldn't fight it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, your shoulder. Sorry. Your sh rip your shoulder off. What a major F you from Michael Jackson Demon. Like, he could have walked out of that without any issues, I think. Tanjiro wasn't about to slice him down in front of that whole crowd and his daughter and, and wife. But he's like, I am bad. I'm bad. I'm really, really bad. Episode 8, The Fragrance of Bewitching Blood. Run, you fools. Maybe you could suck it out. Wow. He starts the zombie apocalypse, and then looks like the man in front of his wife and kid. And he just leaves. He really beat it out of there. <laughs> Tanjiro is on his radar now. Oof. Tanjiro, it's all that is stopping the outbreak of the zombie apocalypse. Don't do that. They can see it visually, as well. That's some, a powerful scent. Tanjiro must be overwhelmed. She's, uh... Damn, what's that hero? Midnight? But with a lot more clothing. These eyes. Interesting, I was wondering and hoping we would get demons that are not just bloodthirsty monsters. They can be like people, right? Just got a very fragrant ally. Maybe it wasn't a total loss. And he prevented that outbreak. I was sure that was going to happen. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood still has me so jaded. Let me find out that this girl <laughs> is the one pulling the strings. Don't trust children of villains. He really didn't take that visual hint. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you torturing this woman? So it's perfection we're after. Yeah, about that outbreak. Oh, what? Oh my... Now that's service. Yeah, he really took out his anger on those alleyway bystanders. What is it about anime and alleyways? So much happens in Japan's alleyways, it seems. And on that note, it seems like the number one killer in Japan is not letting it go when someone bumps into you. You're always gonna get your ass kicked. Why don't they ever learn? Just accept their apology and keep it moving. <laughs> now that's service. So mad, my pupils are vibrating. <laughs> What's their connection that they already have? Is this... Udon guy makes a return. Yes, that was a, a, ma a massive crime against humanity. Do you deserve it? Do you even deserve to eat Udon? Redemption. I just had the best steak Udon yesterday. It was amazing. Let him know, Udon man. Now that's a character arc right there. She didn't get any Udon, what do you think? You had to stand like that next to the tree? <laughs> Couldn't just stand on the street like a normal person? You had to lurk, huh? And I saw, are we talking about the same character? Yeah. Yeah, she's the quietest in the land. What's this guy's deal? <laughs> <laughs> it 
He's very invested in this. As am I. Can't let that stand. He's still on it. <laughs> let him know, Tanjiro. Alright, Harry Potter. United by our mutual hatred of... I'm never gonna learn his name. Michael Jackson Demon. Muzan. Yeah, how do you get your fuel? Just curious. How do you restore your energy? Yushiro's all, don't offend my lady, but he's the fragile one. This is great news, right? This is the first sort of light in the darkness that there's hope for Nezuko. This is huge. Yeah, I guess there's ways to do that, right? Conscientious demons. What's she doing? I see, it's the life-saving technique as a last resort. It's amazing you can smell honesty. Yeah, we're interested in the reverse. But even if she doesn't know, it seems big that any kind of transformation can happen, period. That exists in the world. It's an interesting quirk. Wow! Impressive technique. Technically correct. Why? Give us a task or something? What are we gonna do? These are some incredible allies. I hope they don't die in the next coming scenes. Yeah, here we go. Here's the side quest. Collect 100 vials of blood of demon blood to advance the plot. Yeah. <laughs> New quest unlocked. How do you know so much? That's true. You don't need to eat humans, you could just drink animal blood, like the rest of us. That's why we're here, right? We're here for Nezuko. This was a really serendipitous encounter. Please live through this now, that this alliance is here. Ah, oh, what do I feel like is going to be a cliffhanger? What do I feel like is going to be a cliffhanger? Damn. Damn. <laughs> Why? I can't imagine how sweet it must feel to actually have a glimmer of hope and allies. I mean, he's just sort of been out this on his own with no guarantee at all of any success that he can ever bring his sister back. He's fought up that crushing weight, did training for two years just to get out into this world of absolute mayhem, carrying the family on his back, literally, <laughs> never give up hope. And then in what could have been one of the darkest moments of his life in that city coming up against the archdemon found allies because of his actions very directly because he's they are trying to save someone's life and not go after the demon that he so desperately wants to take revenge on almost as if that was a direct reward or him being noticed for his decision that i think is one of the sort of unsung heroic elements about tanjiro i think it's easy to watch someone sort of carry on that way but it's actually insanely difficult to put yourself through trials and tribulations for a dream when the dream doesn't seem possible doubt creeps in with no guarantee of reward for your endeavors it's really hard to put up with anything painful, especially for extended periods of time, you know? People will start out on that journey, but then see themselves not getting any closer to the ends they want, yet fully experiencing the pain of that journey. And that wears you down really, really quickly, unless you have a really strong will 
and are crystal clear on what it's doing for you, you know, what that outcome would do for you if it were accomplished. And I think that is sort of how it works when it comes to a lot of really, really grand endeavors. It's nothing at first, and it's nothing for a really long time. And there's always that possibility that it will be nothing forever. But in most cases, I think, if you're doing things with your eyes open and doing things conscientiously and not sort of burying your head in the sand and doing the same things repeatedly over and over again that don't work, success comes all at once. Or the turning point happens suddenly and you realize that suffering through that painful unknown is sort of the cost of admission. People talk a lot about talent and luck, but I think one of the greatest unsung skills is the ability to keep acting even when you don't see a path to success. But Tanjiro has that conviction. And this might not even be the end of the road. There's a risk here, right? There's a risk that hand-eye man and ball girl will kill the doctor, leaving him sort of back where he started, but it's gonna happen eventually. We now know that it's possible. All that stands between Tanjiro and his wildest dreams is a fetch quest and also the most powerful demon of all time. And that's something cheerful. Wait, it's her journal that he writes in or he has a journal about her? Yes, please. Give us the dirt. She looked beautiful today. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> How did you find my high school crush journal? Yeah, I think we've gotten all the dirt that we need. <laughs> I'm never going to forget this. I'm going to bring it up next episode.